Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Gene, Gene, would you listen to me? Listen to me, I'm gonna come in the morning. I don't care that it's Christmas tomorrow. We're gonna close this deal, whatever it takes. I just have to go to my brother's. I gotta go to this party. No, 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 listen, I told you how he is. I'll never hear the end of it if I don't show up. Come on, come on! Merry Christmas Eve, Suzanne. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, I, I'm as I'm as jolly as I can be. I'm I'm baking to my heart's content right now. Mm, mm -hmm. Quick question for you: mm -hmm. Is your brother gonna be there? I'm just a little concerned about him acting up. You know, tonight I I, I think he'll be on better behavior. I'll make sure of it. Yes, I'm on my way. I know that I'm late, but invite me to an event at 6 p.m. and it takes me two hours to get there. What do you expect? Come in, it's open. I'm sorry I'm late, everybody. I... Welcome to oh. Christmas Eve! True! Where, where is everybody? Oh, please, have some hot cocoa and a cookie. They're freshly baked. I thought it was late. Perhaps you'd like something else. Coffee, peppermint tea, a light snack. True, true, true. Where is everybody? Well, I, uh, I must have told you the wrong time, but don't worry. The family will be here at seven. Now, please, let me get something for you. This is so typical. Every single time. Listen, I have a migraine from the car ride, so just, just leave me alone. Let's not be so dull. Why don't you tell me about your weekend or, or how work? How about we just sit in silence until the family gets here, huh? Yeah. No, Stu. We will not sit here in silence. Now, I'm going to go get something, and then you and I are going to have a talk. about. You've got to have more respect for our family holiday traditions. Respect? How do you expect me to respect this? Now, now, I know it's a bit theatrical, but it's a lot better than your bah humbug attitude that you bring to every party. If bah humbug means not wanting to see you make a complete fool out of yourself in front of the entire family, well then bah humbug! No, Stu. Look, I didn't ask you here early by mistake. I wanted to have a serious conversation about your behavior. Got it? Excuse me? Ex excuse me? I left work early and drove in almost two hours of traffic to come to this party after work on my ass. It's over. Christmas Eve. Why are you there in the first place? Because that's what people do when they choose to work hard for their money. They make sacrifices. Well, I work hard to make these parties as awesome as they can be. <laughs> I'm sure the family thinks it's really awesome to see a fully grown man just prance around a house like a toddler. Well, the, 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 the kids love it. 
No, they don't. Well, at least I don't make them cry. You make everybody as uncomfortable as you make me. I pray to God that I slip and fall and hit my head so I can forget all about what I'm looking at right now. I didn't want to have to do this. I think you should wear this tonight. Oh, really? You think so? You, th you think I'm going to wear this? The family's going to be here soon. And if you don't have that on, I don't know what to tell you. Look. I know this is hard for you. But if you can do this... One thing. I'll forgive you. And we can start fresh. What have I ever done to you? Huh? Oh. I don't know. Maybe showing up drunk last time? Never RSVPing or we're starting vulgar arguments at the dinner table? I mean, you are a constant black cloud on all of these parties. It has got to end. If you want to continue to be a part of this family, you have got to get your act together and put on the Santa suit. What about you, Drew, huh? What about your oh, behavior? I beg your pardon. You tell me one thing that I've done. You're always chastising me and, and, and guilt tripping me and making a big deal about everything. Everything. You're strict. You're passive aggressive with all your little rules and your tiny little nitpicks. Say it, I'm a slob in front of the family. On, on Thanksgiving, I mean... What was that about? Well, I'm sorry I have certain standards for my holiday parties. Oh, why do you have me come? Huh? Obviously I fall below that standard. And you certainly don't enjoy having me and... Oh, I certainly don't enjoy being here. But every single time you pressure me to show up. And if I'm not 100% committed to your stupid plans, it's always you on the phone the next day saying, you know, you didn't even help me put up the line. You could have helped me hang those lights, too. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll, okay, fine. I'll play your little game, okay? I'm Drew. Welcome to us, Drew. Welcome to Christmasy. Lisa, you've gotten so much you taller. Know. Hasn't she got tall? Stop, stop. Dad, the horse gets built up. Stop singing! Stop acting like a child and put on the suit! Who's acting like a child? I'm acting like a child. Huh? Oh, oh I can play this game too. Oh, yeah? Hey, Joe. I'm Stu Bird. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm Captain Business. Business words, 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 yeah, words. Yeah, not quite, buddy. Of course I can work on my brother's birthday because I pretend to hate the holidays yeah. to cover up the fact that nobody in my family loves me. Yeah.
Yeah, I never loved you either, buddy. like this it's just people pretending to like each other because they think they have to people don't want to do this I, I don't I don't want to do this maybe I should have stopped trying with you a long time ago maybe that would have been better for everybody <laughs> Good luck out there, brother. Hey, Jane, guess what? I'm heading back to the office. We're going to close that deal. Tonight. Merry Christmas, everyone. Come on in.